the amazing Randall. What's up, rascals? Welcome back to Ocarina of Time, and we are actually going to do it this time. We're going to, um... Just a minute. Debating on whether or not... Ah, you know what? I was debating on whether or not to go up back to Death Mountain and get that Skulltulla in the wall, but we can do that anytime. Spe but now's the time to grab the Master Sword. The, the door of time has been open for us for quite some time now, and it's about time we frickin' get on with it, right? Right. Right? Right. Is that... isn't that... Did you really have to get right up on it to... It's that legendary blade. The Master Sword. Yep. That's right. And we're gonna touch it. We're gonna grab it. We're gonna squeeze it. We're gonna pull it right out of that stone. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yep, there we go. <laughs> right. And... Magic! Magic surrounds us and shit. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. Okay. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. So you followed me around, even though I opened the door of time. And then just left. And you just waited until I actually got in here. Man, you dumb. Rando. Wake up, Rando. Wait, no, this is Raru. Wake up, Rando, the chosen one. And I don't know what to say about this place. This is just such a sacred realm. Uh, <laughs> I like how they I like how they foreshadow that the forest temple is the first place you go by staring at the the shadow temple's symbol first. I am Raru. Ah, I already forgot his voice. I just barely started it. I am Raru, of the, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. Don't worry about seeing what that looks like. It, it, it's pretty boring. In fact, I haven't been able to leave this place for a while. I don't know what it looks like. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil-destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time, like a dick, was the final key to the Sacred Realm. Rando, don't be alarmed, but you fucked shit up. By the way, look at yourself. Oh. Oh, what? Well, um, fashionable. Thank you. Look, Rando, you're big now. You've grown up. Okay, thank you. She specifies, you're big now. Is she looking under his tunic? Yeah, for you, slut. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. Okay, so this is like Game of Thrones. Everything's the thing of nouns. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. 
And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Time, time, time! My god, if I was a DC supervillain, I'd be the Clock King, because that's all I talk about is time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Yeah, sure. Just get your old face away from me. But remember, wait, old? Yeah, dude. Dude, you're old and you smell like couch. But there isn't even a couch in here. Th Though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this si forbidden sacred realm. If it's so forbidden, how'd you, why'd you make it so easy to get to? He obtained the Trayfors from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. Ah, oh, just like I said, everything's the thing of nouns. His evil power radiated from the Temple of Hyrule, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power is as only little... My power now has only a little influence in this sacred realm. Even in the sacred realm, blah. Namely, this chamber of sages. Basically, this is just a giant water fountain. But there's still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all of the power in the void of the realm. I... God dang it. Yeah? Okay. Dude, can you finish your bullshit? I'd like to get on with my day. I mean, it's... Uh, dude, I need to get out there. I need to see the world and and do stuff. I've got a seven-year itch. Wait. Uh, damn it. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own. Huh? What, what kind of shit you dropping on me? Oh yay! An Olympic medal. You've received the Light Medallion. Rauru the Sage adds his power to yours. Honestly, not much. It's just literally like a good luck charm. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. Well, that's kind of my plan to begin with, so... Yeah, you just said, keep doing what you're doing, and don't fuck up. God, can this magic take any longer to transport me? Good God. Randall, we're back in the Temple of Time. But have seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Right, um... Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that. Wait, I sense something. I sense an asshole getting cut. Wait, um, I've been waiting for you, hero of time. I know, I know. But still, when evil rules all, when evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest. One on a high mountain. One under a vast lake. One within the house of the dead. One inside a goddess in the sand. Oh my. Together with the Hero of Time, the Awakened Ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. You know, they probably could have translated that a little bit better because that kind of sounds like he survived an onslaught from the Sheikahs instead of being the last surviving member of the Sheikahs. Just saying. Not trying to... Not trying to... dig on Miyamoto and the writers of, of this game, but, you know... Anyway. 
As I see you standing there, holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. Mm, you make me feel so... Never mind. Uh, uh, I'm just going to keep going with what I was talking about. Um, if you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for you in the... One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl I am sure you know. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I am saying, you should head to the Kakariko village. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, you didn't even give me a choice to say yes or no, but you know what? It's implied. All right, on to Kakariko Village! And on to the next step of our quest of bullshit. It's not bullshit. It's very important. We're here to save the world! Okay, I guess that makes sense. All right. Everything looks all twisted and evil. And there's Zambos! Now where? Whoa. No, redheads. Oh, oh. It's like it's like getting through a maze. Don't touch the walls. What walls? I don't know, but don't touch them. Is there anything worthwhile in here? Oh yeah, less pots, but this asshole. The Poe Cellar. Oh, you're quite an energetic young man. You're brave and handsome, too. <laughs> Your name is Rando, isn't it? <laughs> Don't be surprised. I can read people's minds. If I looked as good as you, I could run a different kind of business. <laughs> My shop is the only ghost shop in Hyrule. Because of the great Ganondorf, it is a fine time for a business like this. <laughs> Oh, I can only hope the world gets even worse. The ghosts called Poe's, the spirits of concentrated hatred that appear in the fields and graveyard, they hate the world. Young man, if you catch Poe, I will pay you a lot of money for it. <laughs> All right, creepy one-eyed weirdo. Oh my God, he's a one-eyed willy. I just spoke to an evil talking dick! Alright! You know, technically, we could go straight to Kakariko. Or. Nope, nope. Wait. Focus, damn you. We could go get a Pona. What should I do? You know what? I'm actually gonna leave that up to you. Where should we go first? The graveyard? to get the hook shot or go get a Pona from Lon Lon Ranch. Let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in the next episode. Hopefully, it'll amaze.